Rosetta is a robotic space probe built and launched by the European Space Agency to perform a detailed study of Comet 67P Shoyumova Euro Gerasimenko. On August 6, 2014 it approached the comet to a distance of about 100 km and reduced its relative velocity to 1 AMS, thus becoming the first spacecraft to rendezvous with a comet with the intent to orbit. Following further maneuvers, it entered orbit after approaching to 30 km five weeks later. It is part of the ESA Horizon 2000 Cornerstone missions and is the first mission designed to both orbit and land on a comet. It has been estimated that in the decade preceding 2014, some 2,000 people had assisted in the mission in some capacity. Rosetta was launched on March 2, 2004 on an Ariane 5 rocket and reached the comet on August 6, 2014. The spacecraft consists of two main elements, the Rosetta Space Probe Orbiter, which features 12 instruments, and the Philo Robotic Lander, with an additional nine instruments. The Rosetta mission will orbit 67 PCG for 17 months and is designed to complete the most detailed study of a comet ever attempted. The mission is controlled from the European Space Operations Center, in Darmstadt, Germany. The probe is named after the Rosetta Stone, a steel of Egyptian origin featuring a decree in three scripts. The lander is named after the Nile Island Philo, where an obelisk was discovered with Greek and Egyptian inscriptions. The obelisk was transported by its finder, William John Banks, to his family home at Kingston Lacey in Dorset, England, where it remains today. A comparison of the hieroglyphs on the Rosetta Stone and the obelisk catalyzed the deciphering of the Egyptian writing system. Similarly, it is hoped that these spacecraft will result in better understanding of comets and the early solar system. In a more direct analogy to its namesake the Rosetta spacecraft also carries a micro-etched nickel alloy Rosetta disc donated by the Long Now Foundation inscribed with 13,000 pages of text in 1200 different languages. The spacecraft has already performed two asteroid flyby missions on its way to the comet. In 2007, Rosetta also performed a Mars swing-by, and returned images. The craft completed its flyby of asteroid 2867 Angstrom's Tains in September 2008 and of 21 Lutetia in July 2010. On January 20, 2014, Rosetta was taken out of a 31-month hibernation mode and continued towards the comet. Over the following months, a series of thruster burns slowed Rosetta relative to 67 pcg, and Rosetta rendezvoused with the comet on August 6, 2014. Mission Overview Background During the 1986 approach of Halley's Comet, international space probes were sent to explore the comet, most prominent among them being ESA's Giotto. After the probes returned valuable scientific information, it became obvious that follow-ons were needed that would shed more light on cometary composition and answer new questions. Both ESA and NASA started cooperatively developing new probes. The NASA project was the Comet Rendezvous Asteroid Flyby Mission. The ESA project was the follow-on Comet Nuclear Sample Return Mission. Both missions were to share the Mariner Mark II spacecraft design, thus minimizing costs. In 1992, after NASA canceled CRAF due to budgetary limitations, ESA decided to develop a CRAF-style project on its own. By 1993 it was evident that the ambitious sample return mission was unfeasible with the existing ESA budget, so the mission was redesigned and subsequently approved by the ESA, with the final flight plan resembling the cancelled CRAF mission, an asteroid flyby followed by a comet rendezvous with in situ examination, including a lander. After the spacecraft launch, Gerard Schwemm was named mission manager. He retired in March 2014. Mission firsts, the Rosetta mission will achieve many historic firsts. On its way to Comet 67 PCG, Rosetta passed through the main asteroid belt, and made the first European close encounter with several of these primitive objects. Rosetta was the first spacecraft to fly close to Jupiter's orbit using solar cells as its main power source. Rosetta is the first spacecraft to orbit a comet nucleus and is the first spacecraft to fly alongside a comet as it heads towards the inner solar system. It will be the first spacecraft to examine at close proximity how a frozen comet is transformed by the warmth of the Sun. 
Shortly after its arrival at 67 PCG, the Rosetta Orbiter will dispatch a robotic lander for the first controlled touchdown on a comet nucleus. The Philo lander's instruments will obtain the first images from a comet's surface and make the first in situ analysis of its composition. Construction and design Rosetta was built in a clean room according to COSPAR rules, but sterilization was generally not crucial since comets are usually regarded as objects where you can find prebiotic molecules, that is, molecules that are precursors of life, but not living microorganisms, according to Gerard Schwemm. Rosetta's project scientist. Electrical power for the spacecraft comes from two solar arrays totaling 64 square meters. Main propulsion consists of 24 bit propellant 10 ON thrusters. The spacecraft carried 1,670 kilograms of propellant at launch, composed of monomethyl hydrazine fuel and dinitrogen tetroxide oxidizer, providing a maximum delta V of 2,300 meters per second. Four of the thrusters are used for Delta V burns. Launch Rosetta was set to be launched on January 12, 2003 to rendezvous with the Comet 46P Wertane in 2011. This plan was abandoned after a failure of the Ariane 5 carrier rocket during a communication satellite launch on December 11, 2002, grounding it until the cause of the failure could be determined. A new plan was formed to target the Comet Shuyumov Eurogerasimenko with a revised launch date of February 26, 2004 and Comet Rendezvous in 2014. The larger mass and the resulting increased impact velocity made modification of the landing gear necessary. After two scrubbed launch attempts, Rosetta was launched on March 2, 2004 at 7.17 Greenwich Mean Time from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana. Aside from the changes made to launch time and target, the mission profile remains almost identical. Deep space maneuvers, to achieve the required velocity to rendezvous with 67 PCG, Rosetta used gravity assist maneuvers to accelerate throughout the inner solar system. The comet's orbit was known before Rosetta's launch, from ground based measurements, to an accuracy of approximately 100 km. Information gathered by then board cameras beginning at a distance of 24 million kilometers were processed at ESA's operation center to refine the position of the comet in its orbit to a few kilometers. The first flyby of Earth occurred on March 4, 2005. On February 25, 2007, the craft was scheduled for a low-altitude bypass of Mars, to correct the trajectory after the first launch attempt in 2003 was delayed by one year. This was not without risk, as the estimated altitude of the flyover maneuver was a mere 250 km. During that encounter the solar panels could not be used since the craft was in the planet's shadow, where it would not receive any solar light for 15 minutes, causing a dangerous shortage of power. The craft was therefore put into standby mode, with no possibility to communicate, flying on batteries that were originally not designed for this task. This Mars maneuver was therefore nicknamed the Billion Euro Gamble. Fortunately, the flyby was successful and the mission continued as planned. The second Earth flyby occurred on November 13, 2007. In 2007, as it approached Earth for a flyby, the spacecraft was briefly designated as Minor Planet 2007 VN84 due to it being misidentified as an asteroid. The spacecraft performed a close flyby of asteroid 2867 Angstrom's Tains on September 5, 2008. Its inboard cameras were used to fine-tune the trajectory, achieving a minimum separation of less than 800 km. Inboard instruments measured the asteroid from August 4 to September 10. Maximum relative speed between the two objects during the flyby was 8.6 km per second. Rosetta's third and final flyby of Earth happened on November 12, 2009. In May 2014, Rosetta began a series of eight deceleration burns. These reduced the relative velocity between the spacecraft and 67 PCG from 775 AMS to 7.9 AMS. Orbit around 67 PCG, in August 2014, Rosetta rendezvoused with the comet and commenced a series of maneuvers that will take it on two successive triangular paths, averaging 150 km from the nucleus, whose
whose segments are hyperbolic escape trajectories alternating with thruster burns. After closing to within about 30 km from the comet on September 10, the spacecraft will enter actual orbit about it, in preparation for releasing the fellow lander that will make contact with the comet itself. While the surface layout of 67 PCG was unknown before Rosetta's arrival, the orbiter was built to map the comet before detaching its lander. By August 25, 2014, five potential landing sites had been determined. Velo Lander The lander, named Velo, will approach Shoyumova Euro Gerasimenko at relative speed around 1 AMS and on contact with the surface. Two harpoons will be fired into the comet to prevent the lander from bouncing off because the comet's escape velocity is only around 0.5 AMS. Additional drills are used to further secure the lander on the comet. After its attachment to the comet, planned to take place in November 12, 2014, the lander will begin its science mission, characterization of the nucleus, determination of the chemical compounds present, including enantiomers, study of comet activities and developments over time, with Rosetta in orbit only 30 km above the comet's surface, ESA examined several potential landing sites for Philo. On September 15, 2014, ESA announced choosing Site J on the head of the comet as the landing site of the Philo probe. The planned landing date is November 11, 2014. Search for organic compounds Previous observations have shown that comets contain complex organic compounds. These are molecules that are rich in carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. These are the elements that make up nucleic acids and amino acids, essential ingredients for life as we know it. Comets are thought to have delivered a vast quantity of water to Earth, and they may have also seeded Earth with organic molecules. Rosetta and Fellow will also search for organic molecules nucleic acids and amino acids by sampling and analyzing the comet's nucleus and coma cloud of gas and dust, helping assess the contribution comets made to the beginnings of life on Earth. Amino acids Upon landing on the comet, Rosetta will also test some hypotheses as to why essential amino acids are almost all left-handed, which refers to how the atoms arrange in orientation in relation to the carbon core of the molecule. Most asymmetrical molecules are oriented in approximately equal numbers of left and right handed configurations, and the primarily left handed structure of essential amino acids used by living organisms is an anomaly. One hypothesis that will be tested was proposed in 1983 by William A. Bonner and Edward Rubenstein, Stanford University professors emeritus of chemistry and medicine, respectively. They conjectured that when spiraling radiation is generated from a supernova, the circular polarization of that radiation could then destroy one type of handed molecules. The supernova could wipe out one type of molecules while also flinging the other surviving molecules into space, where they could eventually end up on a planet. Instruments Nucleus The investigation of the nucleus is done by three spectroscopes, one microwave radio antenna and one radar, Alice. The ultraviolet spectrograph will search for and quantify the noble gas content in the comet nucleus, from which the temperature during the comet creation could be estimated. The detection is done by an array of potassium bromide and cesium iodide photocathodes. The 3.1 akg instrument uses 2.9 watts and was produced in the USA, and an improved version is used in the New Horizons spacecraft. It operates in the extreme and far ultraviolet spectrum, between 700 and 2050 yen NGST RA paragraph MIS, OSIRIS. The camera system has a narrow angle lens and a wide angle lens, with a 2048 A, 2048 pixel CCD chip. The instrument was constructed in Germany. Virtus. The visible and IR spectrometer is able to make pictures of the nucleus in the IR and also search for IR spectra of molecules in the coma. The detection is done by a mercury cadmium telluride array for IR and with a CCD chip for the visible wavelength range. The instrument was produced in Italy, and improved versions were used for Dawn and Venus Express. Miro The abundance and temperature of volatile substances like water Ammonia and carbon dioxide can be detected by Miro via their microwave emissions. The 30th CM radio antenna was constructed in Germany, 
while the rest of the 18.5 akg instrument was provided by the USA. Concert The Concert experiment will provide information about the deep interior of the comet using a radar. The radar will perform tomography of the nucleus by measuring electromagnetic wave propagation between the Fallot lander and the Rosetta orbiter through the comet nucleus. This allows it to determine the comet's internal structure and deduce information on its composition. The electronics were developed by France and both antennas were constructed in Germany. RSI RSI makes use of the probe's communication system for physical investigation of the nucleus and the inner coma of the comet. Gas and particles, Rosener. The instrument consists of a double-focus magnetic mass spectrometer DFMS and a reflectron-type time-of-flight mass spectrometer a TOF. The DFMS has a high resolution for molecules up to 300 am. The RTOF is highly sensitive for neutral molecules and for ions. Midas. The high-resolution atomic force microscope will investigate several physical aspects of the dust particles which are deposited on a silicon plate. Cosima. Cosima analyzes the composition of dust particles by secondary ion mass spectrometry, after the surface is cleaned by indium ions. It can analyze ions up to a mass of 4000 am. Giada Giada will analyze the dust environment of the comet coma measuring the optical cross-section, momentum, speed and mass of each grain entering inside the instrument. Solar Wind Interaction, RPC Reaction Control System Problems In 2006, Rosetta suffered a leak in its reaction control system. The system, which consists of 24-bit propellant 10 newton thrusters, is responsible for fine-tuning the trajectory of Rosetta throughout its journey. The RCS will operate at a lower pressure than designed due to the leak. This may cause the propellants to mix incompletely and so burn dirtier and less efficiently, though ESA engineers are confident that they have sufficient fuel reserves to allow successful completion of the mission. Rosetta's reaction wheels are showing higher than expected vibration, though testing revealed the system can be operated more efficiently resulting in less wear on the wheels. Before hibernation, two of the spacecraft's four reaction wheels began exhibiting noise. Engineers turned on three of the wheels after the spacecraft awoke, including one of the bad wheels. The other improperly functioning wheel will be held in reserve. Additionally, New software was uploaded which would allow Rosetta to function with only two active reaction wheels if necessary. Misidentification In November 2007, during its second flyby, the Rosetta spacecraft was mistaken for a near-Earth asteroid and given the designation 2007 VN84. Based upon images taken by a 0.68-meter telescope of the Catalina Sky Survey, an astronomer discovered the spacecraft and misidentified it as an asteroid about 20 am in diameter, and performed a trajectory calculation showing that it would make its closest flyby of the Earth at a distance of 5,700 km on November 13, 2007. This extremely close approach led to speculation that 2007 VN84 might be at risk of impacting the Earth. However, astronomer Denis Denisenko recognized that the trajectory matched that of the Rosetta probe, which was performing a flyby of Earth en route to its rendezvous with the comet. The Minor Planet Center later confirmed in an editorial release that 2007 VN84 was actually the spacecraft. Timeline of Major Events and Discoveries 2004, March 2 Euro ESA's Rosetta mission was successfully launched at 7.17 UTC from Kaurau. French Guiana. The upper stage and payload were successfully injected into an eccentric coast orbit of 200 km, a 4000 km. At 9.14 UTC the upper stage engine fired to bring the spacecraft to escape velocity, leaving Earth and entering heliocentric orbit. Rosetta was released 18 minutes later. The ESOC in Darmstadt, Germany, established contact with the probe shortly after that. May 10 the Euro the first and most important deep space maneuver was successfully executed to adjust the course of the spacecraft, with a reported inaccuracy of 0.05%. 2005, March 4 the Euro Rosetta executed its first planned close swing by of Earth. 
the Moon and the Earth's magnetic field were used to test and calibrate the instruments on board of the spacecraft. The minimum altitude above the Earth's surface was 1,954.7 a km at 2209 UTC and images of the space probe passing by were captured by amateur astronomers. July 4 The Euroimaging instruments on board observed the collision between the comet Temple 1 and the impactor of the Deep Impact mission. 2007, February 25 The Euro Mars swing by. The Lozaro MAP instrument measures the complex Martian magnetic environment, while Rosetta's Osiris took various images of the planet using different photographic filters. While in Mars' shadow most of the instruments were turned off and the fellow lander was autonomously running on batteries. During this operation the OIVA instrument on the lander took pictures of Mars. Among others, both actions were meant to test the spacecraft's instruments. The spacecraft used the gravity of Mars to change course towards its second Earth flyby in November 8 November a Euro misidentification of Rosetta spacecraft as an asteroid. November 13 the Euro Rosetta performed its second Earth swing by at a minimum altitude of 5,295 a km at 2057 UTC, traveling 45,000 a km per hour. 2008 September 5 the Euro flyby of asteroid 2867 Angstrom's Tains. The spacecraft passed the main belt asteroid at a distance of 800 a km and the relatively slow speed of 8.6 a km per second. 2009, November 13 the Euro third and final swing by of Earth. Rosetta made its closest approach at 2481 a km altitude over 109 a degree e and 8 a degree s a euro just off the coast of the Indonesian island of Java, at 7.45 UTC. The spacecraft was traveling at 48,024 a km per hour. 2010, March 16 a euro observation of the dust tail of asteroid P-2010 A2. Together with observations by Hubble Space Telescope it could be confirmed that P-2010A2 is not a comet but an asteroid and that the tail most likely consists of particles from an impact by a smaller asteroid. July 10 the Euro flew by and photographed the asteroid 21 Lutetia, 2011, June 8 the Euro the spacecraft was commanded into a spin-stabilized mode and all electronics except the onboard computer and the hibernation heaters were switched off. 2014, January 20 a Euro at 10 o'clock UTC a pre-programmed timer interrupted the hibernation mode and started post-hibernation procedures. Rosetta restored communications with ESOC through NASA's Goldstone Ground Station at 1818 UTC. May to July a Euro starting on May 7, Rosetta began orbital correction maneuvers to bring itself into orbit around 67 PCG. At the time of the first deceleration burn Rosetta was approximately 2 million a km away from 67 pcg and had a relative velocity of plus 775 ams. By the end of the last burn, which occurred on July 23, the distance had been reduced to just over 4,000 a km with a relative velocity of plus 7.9 ams. In total eight burns were used to align the trajectories of Rosetta 67 PCG with the majority of the deceleration occurring during three burns, delta Vs of 291 AMS on May 21, 271 AMS on June 4, and 91 AMS on June 18, 14 July a Euro the Osiris onboard imaging system returned images of comet 67 PCG which confirmed the irregular shape of the comet. August 6 – The Euro Rosetta arrives at 67 pcg, approaching to 100 a km and carrying out a thruster burn that reduces its relative velocity to 1 ams. Commences comet mapping and characterization to determine a stable orbit and viable landing location for Philo. September 4 – The first science data from Rosetta's ALICE instrument was reported, showing that the comet is unusually dark in ultraviolet wavelengths. Hydrogen and oxygen are present in the coma, and no significant areas of water ice have been found on the comet's surface. Water ice was expected to be found as the comet is too far from the sun to turn water into vapor. September 10, 2014 A Euro Rosetta enters the global mapping phase, orbiting 67 per carat g at an altitude of 29 km. Future Milestones 
November 2014 a Euro for low lands on the surface of 67 PGC. November 2014 to December 2015 a Euro Rosetti escorts the comet around the Sun, December 2015 a Euro end of mission. See also Deep Impact, Halle Armada, Giotto. Hayabusa, Successful Sample Return Mission to an Asteroid, Stardust, References. External links, Rosetta Website, Rosetta Operations Site, Rosetta Image Gallery, Rosetta Mission Profile at NASA.gov, Rosetta's Orbital Journey at YouTube.com, 67 P by Rosetta, ESA A Euro Postcards from Rosetta, ESA A Euro Closer and Closer, Sky and Telescope on Landing.